What's up, guys? How y'all doing? Well, how am I doing? Baby, I am tired. I am shaken. I am disgusted by the level of lameness that one Aubrey Drake, uh, uh, Graham Bell, whatever his name is, I am disgusted at the level of lameness that Drake has showed us. Y'all, one thing I will say is the more Drake opens his mouth, the real reason we see why Rihanna left you, allegedly, if they were dating, right? It wasn't anything you did, well, besides apart from getting a stripper that was trying to trap every rapper in the industry that year to get a baby, besides you being the dummy that actually was shooting up the club with no protection, besides that obvious reason, I think she left you because the corniness and the lameness was just too much to take. Drake is not a nice guy. He rose to popularity pretending to be the nice guy because back then rap was so misogynistic that Drake's misogynistic incel loving self somehow seemed to be like, oh, he seemed to be enlightened. But that's the funny thing, right? Because baby, lameness is always going to show. Let me just get to the point. Do you know that Drake leaked his own blank tape at the end of the day, why don't him and Kim Kardashian just get together? Oh, that's right. Because Drake is just like that. Kim's not good enough for him. After he was, she was with Pete Davidson, he was just like, mm -mm, we ain't doing that. Go watch my old videos to see Blake Drake play Kim out of her mind after she was up there rapping Drake lyrics, d trying to disrespect Kanye. This is a year ago, but didn't realize because she don't know the culture. Kim, you were just disrespecting yourself, but forget about Kim. Because at the end of the day, Kim was the prototype. Kim actually dropped the tape and made a rumored billion dollar industry, but we can definitely say they made a bag. They made a fortune. They're worth a couple hundred million at least definitely valued at a billion. But at the end of the day, if you are going to drop those type of tapes, that's what you do. Drake leaked his own tape, had the blogs pick it up, right? Then on top of that, then went around because people weren't paying enough attention, started posting that's probably going to be about his next album. Then, because that wasn't enough, literally text one of the street, I think it was Aiden Ross, text him, to confirm that was him in the video. Y'all, Drake is so lame. I can't take it. I really can't. Like, I really can't. Like, what's wrong with this man? I know what's wrong. This is my opinion. Drake's having a midlife crisis. Because think about it, right? Drake is getting old. And again, age is nothing but a number. But see, Drake wants to compete with 20-year-olds. Because mentally, when you look at Drake's original fan base, it was 20-year-old girls. The only thing is the 20-year-olds turned into 30-year-olds, 30-year-olds turned into so on and so on. And Drake still got the mentality of a 20-year-old girl. Again, no shade. I don't want to sound misogynistic, but I mean like he has the, uh, he has the mentality of a 20-year-old person. He has a mentality of a 20-year-old person. You can tell that he's just like a little sassy, even though he put on Rihanna's work. He was on tour. If you guys don't know when you're on tour, you have a play set list. Everything is carefully orchestrated, okay? Nothing's left a chance. And the DJ can only play things that you have approved when you approve them. He was at his concert and all of a sudden the intro to work, 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 right? Which you should be honored that you were even on that track, right? Drake literally in his sassified self said, we, we, y'all can, we don't, we don't be talking, literally did the sassy hand. We don't be talking about that anymore. Y'all can go sing along. Drake, will you put us out in your misery and please just come out with Odell Beckham Jr.? I'm just saying, can you just come out with Odell Beckham Jr.? Because we would very much appreciate that. And I'm not just joking. So then he's been taking shots at a mother who just had a baby, who has two young children, who is happily in a relationship and has never said one nor even two words about you. I'm talking about Rihanna. It's probably why Drake is so mad. Again, how do you get a porn star pregnant while you're cheating on your current girlfriend who you were lucky to have? I get it. You were lucky to have, right? And you get the porn star pregnant and now you're mad 
at her. She's the GD problem. Y'all, listen, you can't make this up. But let's get into this. Last thing I'm going to say about Drake's midlife crisis. Hear me out. He's having a midlife crisis. Why? Because he needs a Beyonce. See, Jay-Z even knew when he was aging out the game. It's not the fact that they're never going to be relevant. It's not the fact that they're not rich. But when you look at how much you're willing to give a woman, right? Unless you drop and buy in houses and cars and bet and you pay in top dollar, when everybody comes into the room and you with all like the new generation, right? And they younger, they got 20 year old skin. They got 20 year old bodies. Not only that, they got 20 year old references. So the girls can relate because at the end of the day, what's better than a guy with money? A guy with money that's your own age, right? Drake comes with his little Hello Kitty bobby pins. Listen, looking like somebody's uncle. He got a nasty attitude. They walk into the room. All right, like y'all all are going to give a Birkin. Y'all all taking on shopping spree. So why don't I pick someone that's young and hot and popping? Because at the end of the day, they're going to spend the same money you do, Drake. You see what I'm saying? So Drake's having a midlife crisis because he literally is turning into that old creep in the club trying to push up on 20-year-olds when the 20-year-olds want to be with the famous other 20-year-old guys. But anyway, right? Um, So he needs his Beyonce. Jay-Z knew when he was aging out, he was with Beyonce, but then he started, he realized Beyonce elevated his brand. Beyonce and Jay-Z are a big brand. Drake wanted Rihanna to be his Beyonce. And Rihanna, if they stayed together, would have been his Beyonce. The only problem is he messed it up because he's dumb and he's entitled. And now he's sitting here. How old is he? 50? Bitter? It's all get out? God, I feel sorry for the woman that has to deal with all his issues because you know he got all the stuff. Anyway. Hollywood Lock posted, Drake is trending online, probably paid trolls, and it's not because of his great music. This time it's over a not safe for work um, video that's currently circulating that many fans strongly believe it's the slime you out rapper in the viral clip. In case you haven't come across it yet and leaked the video, it appears to show Drake lounging in bed on his private jet. He's so corny. While recording himself during an intimate moment. Now, again, is this all you learned from Kim Kardashian? You better call Odell Beckham Jr. and let him be your Ray J. Don't nobody want to see that, unk. Anyway, right? I'm sorry to disrespect the unks. Drake is just gross. Now, although Drake or the rep from his camp, now, although Drake nor rep from his camp have spoken out to confirm or deny is in fact him in the video, social media users are currently having a field day with this. Again, I think Drake planted this story because when you look at the video and I only saw enough to splash my eyes with Clorox, you can't really tell who it is. Drake's pathetic. One fan tweeted, why is Aubrey flopping his meat around in the back of a tour bus? Another one said, me opening up Twitter thinking Drake was trending for a Glock on a plane only to find out about Drizzy's glizzies. Another added, I've always known Drizzy be packing, but to have life proof is something else. Y'all, this is just sad, a shame and a scandal, a true shame and a scandal. But it's not over because Drake didn't get the attention that he wanted. He didn't get the attention that he needed. So he decided to just tell us exactly how lame, in fact, he is. What did he do? This is the man that thought he was going to dethrone Kanye West. You literally went head to head with Kanye West and turned into Kim Kardashian. Literally, when nobody even cares about S tapes anymore, making your own. Pathetic. Another one. Anyway, Hollywood Unlocked, which he probably paid for this post because you know you can pay for posts, said both posts and reactions, thirst traps that seem to be from. Drake stand accounts or troll bases. I'll be Graham. Wow, wow, wow. Y'all really tripping out over some loser? Anyway, clear his throat. Well, I'll be Drake Graham, Grand Rising King. Why? Anybody that works at IHOP that's an incel can probably give you the same love and probably better. Anyway, another person said, oh, I'll be Drake Graham. This was Jason, uh, Jason Lee probably trying to get him to call him back. Then they said, Drizzy, I ain't know you had it like that. My bad, Drizzy Drake, and showed a baby elephant swinging. Ooh. Sorry, I'm bored with Drake. 
swinging around his trunk. To which I said, how dare you disrespect baby elephants like that? How effing dare you? I'm going to put Peter on you. Anyway, right? Oh, it wasn't over though. Deborah, Miss Oshi Baddis. Um, Osh I'm sorry, Oshi Bad. No, Oshi, Oshi Baddis on um, Twitter said, y'all gagging over that Drake video. Like he ain't used his excess lipo juice to get him a DDL. <laughs> I know that's right. But then Drake, because we didn't get the hint and he corny, literally posted. He responds to leaking his own footage of his meat to the world. A, he said, it's a snippet from my own album, my new album. He said, I wasn't hiding my meat from the world. I was hiding the world from it. A snippet from my new album, Poppy. Drake leaked his own tape. Kind of like what they accused Kevin Hart of doing. See, Kevin Hart, you should be glad that the tape never really leaked and it couldn't go because this would have been. You thought what Cat Williams did to you was bad and the way the internet dragged you. You don't want to see a tape out there and having us literally going in on you, Mighty Mouse. But back to Drake. He literally just is responded to leaking his own footage. And prior to that happening, I'm sorry, um, he went on... Uh, he went to, he uh, allegedly responded to Aiden Ross via text, appearing to confirm that the leaked video of the rapper, which is currently circulating on social media, is in fact real. He responded, well, because Aiden Ross sent him some D-writing thing to him out. You have a great voice, a great style, but also you're very blessed in the meat department with his friends giggling. And I was like, I mean, I get it. Aiden Ross was just like putting, capping him up, but that was a lot of cap. Anyway, Drake responded back with laughing emojis and then saying, yeah, it's me. Further proof that he leaked his own video. He even called into the biggest streamers to confirm and humble brag that, yes, that was indeed him. But Drake, Drake's had everything else. I don't really believe that's him. We're going to need some groupies to speak out. Has Kareem Stephens ever uh, met? Uh, what about the other? Brittany Renner. Has any of them had any run-ins with Drake? Because that's who will give you real tea. Anyway. He said he leaked his own tape. He said he did it as a snippet for his album. Drake is turning into a 50-year-old incel loser. 40-year-old, it don't even matter. I don't even care if Drake is 35. He is having an early midlife crisis. He is going through the change. He is going through menopause for men. And I would like somebody to intervene. Honestly, I would like someone to intervene. I know Rihanna is just sitting there happy, beautiful, successful, with an age-appropriate man that knows how to act with a female icon. I'm glad she dodged that bullet. Woo! Rejection is protection. Rejection is protection. Shout out to Drake and uh, Sophie, his reevaluated uh, uh, P-star. Uh, yeah. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.